Jacobson is there. Nat, I, you know what I, I want to? I want to say my condolences. That's what I want to say because we've lost a dear friend. That's what I want to say. So that's what I'm starting off by saying. Well, he, thank you, Ed. Uh, losing Dick is like losing a brother. Yeah. Marianne and Dick and uh, and I and Chet until he passed away were were very close friends. We lived a lot of life together. Um, <clears throat> sorry and. You know, um, let me just catch my breath. <laughs> this is a man who, above everything, loved life. And he showed it with the passion that he loved his wife, first of all, Marianne. The two of them, I used to say, you two are joined at the hip. I hope you live to 100 and pass away together. <laughs> um, because they completed each other's sentences. They, they didn't have a sentence where the other person wasn't in it. And just a few um, months ago, we celebrated with all of their family and friends their 50th wedding anniversary. These two people, Marianne and Dick, fell in love in college in Michigan and have, have lived a, a life of love. They taught their children, whom I met when they were teeny guys, um, how to love, how to respect their parents, how to love each other, how to love their friends, how to see that life is bigger than just you, and those boys, two boys, Matt and Mark, and their children benefit. And I, could, I used to say, gosh, when your kids grow up and get married, their, their wives are gonna, should bow down to you, Marianne and Dick, because <laughs> you've taught them what being married is all about. And then, you know, he was just fun. We just had so much fun together. Um, well, you know, you even know when he was sick, we lived in the same building, and they hadn't been out for a while. And so I prepared a candlelight dinner, and they came down the back stairs, and <laughs> Dick's hooked up to all these machines and everything. It was precious. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely precious. And oftentimes Marianne would say, um, you know, I didn't get much sleep last night because Dick was monitoring all of his weather machines because he's <laughs> sure we're having a nor'easter tomorrow. And, oh, my God, why did I ever buy him that thing? And, well, of course, she just did it, with, you know, in jest because she loved that he loved it all, you know. And, you know, he suffered, I don't know if you know this, um, leukemia for about 20 years. And mm. we thought we lost him a couple times. But he battled back, and gosh, um, just recently he looked like the picture of health. And it, it, it's wonderful. I feel like God gave him another 20 years and gave all of us the extra 20 years with him. These are wonderful people, his family, his brothers, and his children. It's, it's an extraordinary, extraordinary family, and the, it is that family um, that will, will, will keep him I keep Mary Ann and the children together because of the love that emanated from Dick and Mary Ann Albert. For me, the, I have many pleasures. Um, I'm grateful beyond words for the time I had at Channel 5. But Chad and Dick and Mike Lynch and me had a relationship that professionally and personally that is... Um, is God's gift. Mm -hmm. So we're all sad tonight, but it, gosh, we're we're grateful for having had each other. You know, so you know what's in God bless you, Dickie. There are a lot of people in heaven that have got their arms open for you.